So this little female albino pied hatched out about two weeks ago. Just had her first shed ever. And she looks a lot better than I thought she was going to. Really like this area right here by her neck. how it goes from the albino pattern and color to a faded out white and then has this spot of orange I think that's really unique looking I didn't see that before she shed out and then she's got a saddle back here Sort of looks like a face. Nice bright orange. Probably gonna hang on to this girl. She's really unique looking, I think. And I love high white pods too. Can't get enough high white pods, guys. Low white's good too for certain combos. But I really like high white on most of my pides. So albino pides are pretty hard to produce if you work from the ground up. Since they're double recessive animals, it's a little bit tougher to produce. Well, if you have the right stuff, it's not, but from the ground up, basically, you would breed an albino to a pied. Every baby would hatch out normal looking, but they would both they would all be heterozygous for both piebald and albino. Then, if you breed a male and a female, brother and sister together, I know it sounds weird, but it's okay in snakes, then one in 16 of their babies will come out in albino pied, which is a double visual recessive. But if you buy an albino pied and you breed it to another albino pied, every baby will be albino pied. So there's ways you could do it easier now that we're further down the road, obviously, but in the beginning it was very tough. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one, thumbs up if you did, check the description if you guys are interested in purchasing any animals, see you guys later.